The second technique I'm asking you to do is to do this beauty shot. So we're going to mask the model uh, off the background. We're going to place her on a solid color background. Now, this is probably going to be the most complicated one to deal with. And the reason for that comes down to one word. And that one word is hair. Uh, hair is notoriously difficult to mask. Um, and so I'm going to show you some techniques uh, to do that. And to do this, we're going to actually mask this model in two different ways. I'm going to use one technique like you just did on the cereal bowl. I'm going to use the pen tool for her body. And the second technique I'm going to show you is for the hair. And then what we're going to do is we're going to marry the two together here. So I'll show you how this works. In this video, we'll focus on doing uh, her body. And I'm going to come and zoom down here. And as I mentioned, we're going to use the pen tool. So I'll go and select that. Same technique I told you or showed you how to do on the cereal bowl. You're going to go ahead and select her. But as you select, and again, anything with a hard edge, which obviously the body does against the background, you want to use the pen tool for because it, it's going to give you the cleanest lines. And just like I did with the cereal bowl, as I go around here, I'm selecting a little bit inside the edge. And the reason for that is I'm going to do the same thing I did on the cereal bowl and we're going to blur that edge a little bit. So I'm coming around here. I'm up to her neck now. Now here's the thing. We're into the hair. So uh, I can be a little more general here. I'm going to, and you'll see when I mask the hair, we're going to actually get her face too. So I'm just going around here quickly because I know the rest of this is going to be masked with the hair mask. And then I'll come down here and pick up her body again. And we will quickly go around the edges here. Now remember too, if you don't get this right the first time, you can always go back and clean this up. So I'm going to go up here. I'm a little off down here. We can clean that up. I'm going to zoom in so I can get more detail so I'm not quite as off here. And we'll do this very quickly. Uh, for time's sake here, I probably could be doing a cleaner mask, but then this video would be like 30 minutes long and you guys don't want to sit through that. Come around here, get her finger, her fingernail. And again, if I'm a little bit off, I can always go back and touch it up later. Up. Oh, let's go here, pick up this, uh, trying to see where her nail is. And come around on her hand here. And again, I'm just very quickly kind of picking up slightly inside that edge. Uh, I always say one or two pixels, but there's no way to be exact about it. So you're kind of just eyeballing it here. And we'll get her knuckles, her hand. And I'll show you another trick too. You may have noticed when I was going around her hand, there's some gaps between her fingers and we're gonna go ahead and do that. So kind of went all the way around her body. And just like before, you wanna close this off, make sure you have a total uh, complete circuit on everything here. And just as on the last technique, this is still a working path. This is not a selection yet. So you want to come over here to paths, the paths panel over here. There you can see a little preview image of my working path. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn that into a selection. So I'm going to come down here at the bottom of your paths panel, again, the third icon in there is what will turn it into a selection. And I'll show you one other thing you can do with masking here. Now, you'll notice I have the gaps in here. And uh, when I mask this off, you're still going to see the background through here. I'll show you the way I usually deal with this. You can just paint it out later. But this will be your introduction into what we call quick mask. And what quick mask is, it's a great way to kind of build up masks in multiple parts here. And so I've got my selection here. Quick mask is located, if you look at the very bottom of your tool of your toolbar over here, there's a little rectangle with a dotted line in front of it. 
and that's quick mask and if you click on that it is going to show you what you have selected here as a color and you can see where you're off a little bit now uh, to set it up in quick mask if you double click it it will allow you to uh, decide whether you're actually doing the selected areas so in this case I am wanting to select her body or you could make this the masked area but I think selected area works best you can also choose whatever color you want here I usually choose this acid green because I find it just it shows up the mistakes really easy here and I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK now what you can do is we can get rid of these uh, gaps one or two ways we can go back here to our pen tool and once you close it same thing and I'm a little off there turn it into a selection what you can do is paint this out so I'm gonna come over here and choose my paint brush it's kind of a big brush but I only have a little selected area if you paint this in with white you will get rid of it if I flip this from black or white to black it will fill it back in so I'm gonna do this and use white to paint this out so that's one way you could do it you could also just do it with a paintbrush so I've got my paintbrush I'm gonna double click on the brush here and get a real small brush to work with so there you can see and again uh, brush tool similar to the uh, to the uh, pen tool in that uh, you can switch between a target or the actual brush shape here by using the cap locks tool here in this case I'm going to go ahead and use that and then I'm going to come up here to the little gap up here and here's the deal uh, the photo is still there I'm just going to do this to get rid of that gap and I was painting with white now if I flip it over here and use this little swap arrow and now if I paint with black I can actually paint this back in so if I had more time I would probably go in here and clean up my mask a little bit but in the interest of keeping the video a little shorter what we're gonna do is just call this mask done once you get the hand how you want it and again I'm not worried about how weird it looks over here and around her face we're gonna get that with the hair mask but when you get the completed mask the way you want it come over here to the quick mask icon click that and now you can see it's back into a selection so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna save this selection so under the select drop down menu what you want to do is come down here and we're gonna save selection and I'm gonna go ahead and call this body because it's her body that we've masked out here and go and hit go ahead and hit OK and then in the next video I'll show you how to do uh, the hair mask.